dry evening here in Birmingham, Alabama. Legion Field, Tennessee, against the Alabama Crimson Tide. William Watts, number 15, the gentleman they called Wild Thing. He handles the kickoffs. Sean Summers back at a deep single safety for the Volunteers. First time since 1914. It has not been the third Saturday in October when they played this one. The last time they played it on the second Saturday for the Tennessee Volunteers. In that backfield, number 25, Jay Graham, the tailback, averaging 122 yards a game. That's good for second in the SEC. The wide receivers, Joey Kent, 13 catches last week against Arkansas. And the offensive line, this is a very good line. They have done some switching around. Lehman goes from tackle to guard. And also on the inside, Jeff Smith goes from right guard to center. Bubba Miller moves from center to right guard. Tennessee to throw on first down. Right over the middle. They've got Kent open, and he breaks him into the secondary. He needs a block, and he couldn't go the distance. Touchdown, Tennessee. 80 yards. point attempt and he's good Marcel West one of the two deep men Michael Fagan also back there with him as the kickoff from Jeff Hall of Tennessee short and to the right side it's Fagan takes it on the run at the 15 and Alabama's going to have good field position is able to open it just across the 30 yard line Brian Burgett the senior out of Cedartown Georgia opens it quarterback and he will throw on first down. Swings it out to Riddle. Crosses the 35, and he's out to the 40-yard line, and it's a first down for Alabama. First down, second down and short. They go with two tight ends. Ethan Johnson. And Riddle will take it straight ahead for the first down. Runs in tied with the first down. Line of scrimmage just across the 42. Riddle. Going to be hit at the line of scrimmage. He will spin forward. Hodrick Malone's big tonight. Little in motion. Bergdorf wants to throw. Holds it up and gets the pass away, and he throws it short. It's third down, Mike. The line to make is just inside the 47. And they have Malone, Chad Key, and Curtis Brown as the wide outs. But they go to the man out of the backfield, and Sism will be short of the first down. Tennessee with the return on this is a great coverage kick. Very high. The deep men run away from it, and it goes out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Alabama looking for rush. You can see linebackers cheating up. Graham, big opening. Has five, six, and seven yards as he will take it close to the 20. Giving credit for nine yards in the running play, so it's second and short. But they turn and hand it off to Chester Ford. And the fullback is going to have the first down as he... Murray Staley, number 12, comes in at wide receiver to the bottom of your screen. But the pitch goes to Graham. Looking for a spot to run. There is not much there as he got a hammers at the 20-yard line. Fakes the draw. Manning throws it complete to his tight end. And Pfeiffer is going to be wrestled back to the 18 of giving forward progress. Manning's pass complete, but he's going to have the Tennessee first down at the 29-yard line. And the 29 pass is caught. Pillow breaks it inside the 40 to the 35-yard line as Shea Townsend gambled on the play. It is first down at the Alabama 35. Linebackers showing blitz. They stay at home. They'll throw the quick screen. And it's Marcus Nash who will take it for a gain of about five. Same situation. But Nash, nobody on him. He'll turn it upfield. Close to the first down. And this is going to be an interesting spot. That length of time, Tennessee has had 30 turnovers. Alabama only eight in that nine-year period. Takes the run, throws the pass, and he drops it. The first incompletion. 
second down. Line to make. Just inside the 16. Manny with the screen. Has his man there and the blocker in front. At the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Volunteers. Jay Graham. And there was a flag down back at the line of scrimmage. Procedure against Tennessee. Ball was never snapped. Mike, the five yards offside penalty, so Tennessee gets it back. Pass is caught. Kent, at, no, they say incomplete. Unable to hold on. And to keep it going, they need to go to the 15-yard line. a man got it touchdown Tennessee Marcus Nash <laughs> Jeff Hall tries to make it 14 to nothing and he does and as we head to break we have 742 left in the opening quarter Manning already with 154 yards Tennessee Two possessions, two quick strikes. Ball's kickoff. This is going to come down to Fagan. He'll return it. Two yards deep. 15 at the 20. And that's it. Get to the quarterback, which they can't. Then you've got to give up linebackers. Bergdorf with play action. Zips it out in the flat. That's little. This quarterback, Peyton Manning, has the best ability of any quarterback in college football to go on to the next level. Shovel pass, and you can see Riddle is hit just as soon. So Minnesota trying to come up with the upset tonight in the Big Ten. Oh, my goodness. Little with the hit. Ball is loose. Tennessee recovers. Was the play dead? No, sir. Volunteer football. Little with the big play. Number one, who was a former linebacker that then now is playing down. Makes the hit. And the recovery by Bill Duff. They haven't even had to use the running game yet. Well, let's see what they come up with here. Alabama can certainly not give away more points on this drive. Manning's pass is dropped. Marcus Nash, 14 to nothing, Tennessee. And they have some kind of opportunity here with the second and 10 in the ball at the Alabama 25. Short drop and the pass knocked out at the line of scrimmage. And it will be a three-man rush. For the Crimson Tide. Three linebackers, five defensive back. They swing it out. Graham, and with the second effort, may have picked up the first down, and he did. Mike Godfrey did. First down. Here's Graham in the running play. Cuts it back nicely with a stiff arm. He'll have five yards as Ralph Staten. Listen to Peyton Manning. They made some moves this week. Here come the Volunteers with the first and goal. Right side, hurdle to the two-yard line. Smith, Jeff Smith playing center. He's played that position before and doing well tonight. Second down, Mike. You can see how close it is straight ahead. Not going to get there. Maybe a half-yard Chester Ford being pushed back. Third down, Tennessee. Dangerous down. Here's a play-action pass also. Manny put it on his hip, bootleg, and he'll walk it in. Touchdown, Tennessee, 20 to nothing. Ball's extra point attempt is perfect. So let's take a break. 5.04 left, opening quarter, Tennessee, 21 to nothing. 504 left in the opening quarter. Here's Hall's kick. This is Fagan from the eight. Check it. Marcel West, and he will be knocked out of bounds. Bergstorff gets away once and then stumbles and goes down at the 45-yard line. Freddie Kitchens into the ball game, Thank Ron. You know, one thing you also have to remember, this afternoon at the Cotton Bowl, Texas led 21 to nothing and finished with a 24-24 tie. So there's never a time when you can let down. This is Riddle. And it looks as though he's going to have it. He needs the 50-yard line. 
and Alabama has been terrible in third down. Still holding on to it, ran right by the Tennessee player, and then White will wrap him up. Shane Burton, AP for Tennessee. And out of bounds, just inside the 20. Quick pass to McCullough. Crimson Tide hoping that they can uh, close some distance. This running play is the defense a nice job on Graham. He didn't want to go down. Ball comes loose, picked up by Alabama, and the officials say play is dead at the 25-yard line. Ronnie Pillar to the right side, and he is close to the first down as the flag comes in. Ball is loose, and that's the beanbag going down because of the turnover, and Dwayne Rudd has made the recovery for the Crimson Tide. Freddie Kitchens will continue to operate at quarterback for the Crimson Tide. Sweet blocker in front, and he's going to be knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Alabama just nine. It's been the difference. On second down, Kitchens pass thrown behind Malone. Need to take it to the 18. Gets a good protection this time. Gets it out in the flat. Malone breaks the tackle, and there is your first conversion of a third down situation. First down. Right over the running play. We'll take it down to the 10. Well, that's the end of the first quarter with our score, Tennessee 21, Alabama nothing for the Crimson Tide. Kitchens waits, gets it away, and has it deep, and that's Todrick Malone. Glad to report that Sism is okay. He's back in the lineup. and scramble. Pressure is on and they'll push him out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Bill Duff. Draw play. Riddle breaks off the tackle down to the 20-yard line and that is very close to the first down. Has it right down the middle. So let's take a break. 21 to 7, our new score. 6 10 left until the halftime. Seven minutes needed by the Crimson Tide. Here's Watts kickoff. Wild thing hammers this one. This is going to be Summers. On the one yard line. Summers puts the head down and he'll take it out across the 22 yard line. Chad Key, an interesting story. He's a quarterback, but he came here and just said, Wherever you will put me at, as long as I play at Alabama. So he's a wide receiver. He's done an excellent job. Joey Kent, right across the middle. It's going to be good for about four yards. Two touchdowns for Peyton Manning. And now they say officially a two yard gain. So it's second and eight. pass did he get it or did he trap it the official says well they're looking at each other they don't know either now they say incomplete pass again bill oliver's the master of disguising his defense doing a little bit better job now alabama here comes the blitz the two middle backers payton runs up gets it away and it's almost intercepted at the 30 and it's dropped as kevin jackson he throws the ball almost kicked off <laughs> Binion's kick. This is to Goss. He's going to let it bounce. Then tries to pick it up and has to cover it at the 32. But the Crimson Tide came back with seven here in the second and had the ball again. Kitchens gets away from the pressure and his pass just a little too far. Kitchens puts it in the stomach of Riddle. Has five, has ten, had it off at 15, 16, and 17 yards is Deron Jenkins. 18 yards in the play. 
Gets it, puts it up on top. Curtis Brown is out there. Did he hold on? No. He dropped the football as the defensive back for the Volunteers had fallen down. Oh, oh my goodness. Malone has it complete at the 30-yard line of Tennessee. Heath and Rutledge, two tight ends of the ball game for Alabama. Short drop pass overthrown. Keep going, I might not be back. You cannot remember a thing from the first quarter on. Little tries to get outside and he'll be wrapped up. George Kidd was about to go into three minutes until intermission time. You see they roll the pocket, wanted to throw the shovel pass. Tennessee cut it off at the pass. And Jonathan Brown will knock him out of bounds. Longest in his career is 53 yards. That was against Ole Miss in 1993. This attempt, a 45 yard. Long enough and wide to the left, no good. Get him in action. Graham in the running play. Takes it over the right side for maybe five yards. I think it's very important, Ron, for Peyton Manning to take this 232 and make most of it for the running game. Just no tip of Eric Lane. Sent for Tennessee tonight in third down conversion. Joey Kent, if that was an audible at the line of scrimmage page, and Mike, that puts him over 200 yards in his first half. Doesn't see the Alabama player from behind. Ball is loose. Who got it? Alabama says they did. Kelvin Moore. But officially, that goes as a sack, we're told, for a loss of one. Manning's pass has it complete out in the flat. Working for the first down, and I'll tell you, Maurice Staley is very, very close. Three-man rush here, another zone coverage play here. He may check to a run. And he's going to throw it. Backside pressure, got his man right over the middle. At the five, touchdown Marcus Nash. is good and let's go down to the sideline to check with Mike Adamley. I think he's got those numbers handy. Half time report. Well this is a coverage kick. It's going to come down to the tight end Thompson. Johnson the bigger part. Tony Johnson and he will return it to the 40 yard line. Inability to score the last time down the field. In Tennessee with only a three man rush. Kitchens going to be hit from behind, and he'll go down at the 40. Kitchens, I think, at the last second. He had a huge hit, causing a fumble back in the first quarter. Kitchens out of the backfield. He'll have it complete. That's Sism. One second. They'll get this final play away. Nope, going to be sacked. Back at the 37-yard line, Billy Barron comes in to end the first half. Our score, Tennessee 28, Alabama 7. Now let's join Mike Tirico for the GMAC Halftime Report. Game against uh, Arkansas. Kitchens does not feel the backside pressure, and he's going to finally be stopped by Tyrone Hines. The 21 comes into the backfield for the Crimson Tide is complete. Just short of the 40-yard line, it's Curtis Brown. And Tennessee's showing blitz. Let's see if they come. Yep, they do. That's Samuel from behind. Antoya Madden got to be hit and dropped for a loss. Yeah. 
Surprised if Kitchens could get that one away at all. Third down. The line to make the Tennessee 33. They got it. Curtis Brown. Here comes the blitz up the middle. Kitchens is hit. Gets by one tackler. Pursuit from behind. Throws it complete to Sism. And he's got more than he can say grace over. <laughs> Throw. As the receiver fell down, your Tennessee forced them into going the long field, use a lot of time, and then. That's a 15 play drive, 97 yards for the touchdown. Summers, the deep man for Tennessee. From the six. gets tagged just before he reaches the 25-yard line. Here comes a corner blitz. They go with the running play. Graham for 5, 10, breaks it off, and he's open. This is the best way to quiet 80,000 of your close or not close friends. Touchdown, Tennessee. It's 75 yards. And when you see a play like that happen into the short side of the field, usually you're going to find a receiver with a good block. Paul makes it 35 to 14. Volunteer. <laughs> Jeff Hall, the freshman out of Winchester, Tennessee. This is West, two yards deep. And he'll be knocked out at the 22. Mr. Tarico, what an effort. Kitchen, getting pressure, gets by the first man, will not get by Bill Duff. And Kitchen, almost intercepted, couldn't hold on to it is so much more push, so much more pressure by the front people. Well, they're making the work to field, too. They're not giving anything easy to Alabama. Chad Key, the intended receiver. That one's overthrown. Summers, the deep man for Tennessee. <laughs> Summers gets by one. Will not get by the second Crimson Tide player, but he'll take it across midfield. Peyton Manning had 253 yards in the first half. Check and see what he's uh, got now. That's a lateral. That ball can be thrown again. It is, and it is caught at the 18-yard line by Tyler. Oh, that was set up perfect. Manning's pass got him right over the middle. Marcus Nash, that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Tennessee 35, Alabama 14. Volunteers with the ball. You can see it just at the six and a half yard line. Graham tries to bounce it outside. And he'll take it to the four yard line. And Mike Tirico, let's check with you. Second down. The ball the four-yard line. Throws it back in the flat. Tennessee makes the reception. They're going to wind up losing yards. Made route, and he just threw it away. Stanley is the man, or Staley, I should say. 10 of 13. This attempt is going to come from the left hash mark, and it'll go down at the 15, so 25-yard attempt. Has a good one, and he sails it home. So let's take a timeout. Our new score, Tennessee 38 and Alabama 14. It's 38 to 14. Marcel West, back deep. He's going to return it from two yards deep. And he shoved out of bounds. Mike Adamley, which is very important, so uh, don't rush. We'll get back to you. Pass over the middle, in and out of the hands of Malone. Mike. Second down and 10. 
Kitchens from that shotgun right over the middle. Ball tip. This is interceptable, and yes, it is. It's Deron Jenkins. Looking for a blocker. He'll come back to the short side of the field, and he is tackled at the 23-yard line. They hit him a little bit hard, and Ron, I'll tell you what, my own personal opinion, it's wrong what they did. There'll be a bowl game. They may lose the third year of probation. Uh, a lot of things are possible. Manning's pass completed to 21. The Committee on Infractions will now have 30 days to file a, uh, its response to show why it made its findings and to support of those findings. In your opinion, Peyton Manning now over 300 yards. First person since Brett Fard against the Gene Stallings team to do that. Graham a hit and tackled at the line of scrimmage. Blitz up the middle. They'll go with the running play. Graham can get by this guy, which he cannot, and that's Steve or Kevin Jackson. He's going to be shot. Field goal attempt. This one will come from the 27 yard line, so a 37 yard attempt. Plenty of distance on this one, and Hall is perfect. So this equals the worst beating of a Tennessee team over Alabama ever here at uh, Legion Field. 1969, 41-14, that exact margin. Marcel West, will return it? They say no, don't do it. So Mike Tirico. Get Inside the 15 yard line. Kitchens hit from behind and he is sacked for now a half dozen times. Now again, focus on a football team and you got that NCAA thing swirling around you. Tough. Kitchens had a sail on him. And Austin will make the interception. His knee was on the ground, but it's Tennessee football. <laughs> Shannon Brown on the far sideline. He's been relieved as Ozell Powell has come in. And Graham will take it on the ground and go for almost 10 yards in the running play. this time to Chester Ford and the fullback will take it down to the 25 yard line that'll move the sticks for the volunteers outside rushes of defensive end you don't need that physical tackle Graham tries to bounce it to the outside but the Staten is going to be there to push him out of bounds oh, they get the big kickoff return momentum changer this is Graham Good pursuit by that Alabama defense, and he's going to be dropped down for a loss. And the guy couldn't ask quickly enough. When are you going to beat Alabama short? And he said, here I am on vacation. Graham tries to bounce it to the outside. He'll be stopped at the 23. So now Tennessee with the Ford and Lane, two fullbacks in the game. And they're going to run a little reverse here with the end. That's Dustin Moore. And Dustin is able to stay inbound, so the clock will continue to run. Fourth down. Gibbs straight ahead, and uh, Eric Lane's not going to have it. He'll be stopped short. Kitchens throws it complete. Kitchens almost intercepted again as Sean Summers cut in front number of NFL players, receivers and defensive backs down in New Orleans that he works out with every day at 8 o'clock at Tulane. This is Riddle. Breaks off a couple of tackles and he'll have the Alabama first down. Freddie Kitchens sets out in the flat. That's Riddle. You could see the flag come in and it looked as though that was thrown by the umpire. We have a personal foul against the defense. 15-yard penalty for contact to the face. 15 yards from the end of the run. First down. It's equaling the worst whipping that they've ever handed Alabama. 
here at Legion Field. Kitchens pass is too tall and almost intercepted by Tennessee. Freddie Kitchens came on replacing him in that first quarter. Gave him a little bit of a spark, but there's just been too much Tennessee. Tipped again and almost intercepted. Deron Jenkins. Mark Levine gets the carry. All he's going to do is probably hand off. is going to take it across midfield. Levine again, and Mike Tirico, let's check in with you again. <laughs> Darnell Autry is one terrific back. He's going to have all the records he wants, man. It's about time, Northwestern. You're a team guy, right, Mike? You got it. Straight ahead with Eric Lane on that carry. Well, just like in basketball, Manning was brought off so that uh, he would be on the field and the crowd would recognize the fact that he was being taken out of the ball game and university. And $1,000 to the U.S. Olympic team on behalf of these athletes. You can see the smile about to creep through there. And this will equal the worst defeat here at Legion Field as Bates will take the ball in the option play and be hit and stopped at the 32-yard line. They don't have to run another play. And the celebration has started here in Birmingham as the players run toward the Tennessee faithful in the stand. Peyton Manning with a truly outstanding performance. And that is the end of our ball game. With the final score, Tennessee 41 and Alabama 14. For Mike Godfrey and Mike Adamley, Ron Franklin saying a so long from Birmingham.